Hey, thanks for joining me on Pagosa Adventures. Well, this time last week, I was in the Florida Keys at a leisure travel van rally down there with the Florida edition, the Flamingos. Enjoyed my time there with all of our friends. Um, but now I'm back in Dallas where winter got here a little early. And so I broke out the old hoodie here. Now then, if you like our LTV inspired merchandise, you can actually buy it right on YouTube now. Uh, well, just look below this video, it's there on the page. Anyway, with that being said, they do make great gift items, by the way, and you know, you got the holidays coming up. Um, so anyway, but let's talk about what we did in the Florida Keys, which was, I teamed up with Sandra Johnson again, the empress of LTV electricity, uh, to install a chassis battery monitor. Now then, many of you have uh, been thinking about doing all kinds of upgrades, whether it be upgrading to the Lithionics 320 amp hour battery like we have and what Sandra Johnson has and lots of other LTV owners doing an awesome aftermarket lithium upgrade. Uh, but this is a very simple DIY project that you can do which monitors your chassis battery, which we all forget about sometimes. It's super, super simple. It's about a $40 Victron product uh, that you just add to the chassis battery, and we're going to get into all of that right now. Sandra's gonna walk through step-by-step -step exactly how to do it. Now, this was on a 2021 a leisure travel van built on the newer Sprinter chassis. If you have an older Sprinter chassis or a Ford Transit, you can still add this upgrade. It's just going to be a different battery placement. So, uh, you know, taking getting to the battery may be a little bit different, but then once you're at the battery, it'll all be the same, just positive on positive and negative on negative. But anyway, before you do that, if this is your first time on the channel or if you have yet to subscribe, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification, and the old thumbs up. I really do appreciate all of the interactions that you guys give on YouTube. Also, um, if you've been reading Sandra's guides or have been enjoying her uh, tutorials or her just her basic help on the LTV Enthusiast Facebook group, give her a shout out below. I'm sure she would love to see that. She's been such a huge help to this group. It's been a huge help to me, by the way, too. And so she's always eager to help. But anyway, uh, let's jump over back to the Florida Keys uh, where it's nice and sunny. Um, and get started with Sandra Johnson. Okay, we are going to install what's called a battery sense. Um, from Victron. It's a, a very tiny little component that has Bluetooth and what it does is it reads your battery voltage. It also reads uh, temp, you know, the temperature of your battery which is less important. You definitely want to know the battery voltage. Uh, and we put it, we're going to put it on the chassis battery because the chassis battery is quite often overlooked. Uh, everybody's very focused on their house batteries. You know, what's my voltage? Can I run the refrigerator? Whatever. But they forget to think about, you know, what's going on with my chassis battery? Am I going to have a problem starting my engine? Um, and so this little Victron battery sense, uh, you know, basically gives you a constant voltage reading right from your phone because it's Bluetooth. And so you can call it up with your other uh, Victron um, devices and you can immediately see what's my battery reading. And you want it a, a resting chassis battery voltage is around 12.8 12 volts. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for like 12.5 to 12.8 and that tells you your chassis battery is fine. Perfect. And, uh, then you you know you're gonna feel safe when you turn the key <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so basically we're going to be removing this so we can take this off and expose the battery and you see we got a little battery right here that tells you it's under your feet and these are Torx bits interesting to know uh this is called a t25 size Torx bit better get something like that really good all right, so first, you guys, we take this off. It's got the battery symbol on it because we've got to expose the floor to get to the battery. Then you just lift out. The whole thing comes out? Yep. 
Okay, and this is where the battery is. And that takes a T30 Torx bit. All right, then it just simply lifts off. And you're going to snap this little cover off. This red cover, you snap it off, and that exposes the positive terminals. It has two wires, black and red, and it, and it has two sided tape, so we're going to stick it on the battery. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is you want to cut a section out of these ring terminals because that keeps you from having to completely remove the nuts that you're going to be uh, um, placing them on. Otherwise, you reset all your controls on your dash. And well, it, it's, you know, it's, it's Show just... Show that to me, Sandy. Yeah, you'll, you'll lose... Yeah. It, it's, it's not really that it's going to disconnect anything. It, it, you know, it's just more stuff that can go wrong. Because you're working on the positive terminal, so you don't want to short anything out. So if you can just loosen it and slide something under, that's the safest. Hey, show me what you just did. Oh yeah, you know. I took a pair of side. These are called side cutters. Um, you know, basically uh, wire cutters, and I just cut out a little section because you want it to be able to slide. See how it's going to slide gotcha. over these terminals. All right, so you want to do, uh, I always like to do the positive first. On the spring, she did them all on everybody's batteries. It was supposed to be do it yourself. <clears throat> and you just want to make sure this is metal and this is your positive terminal. So you want to be careful that you don't touch anything metal on on the chassis or you will short something which of course you don't want to do uh, i don't know what its fuse is i'd have to look it's small so then you just slide it under like that you do that so you don't have to take the whole thing off yeah you don't want to take off okay, the whole gotcha. nut i mean yeah. you know you're just putting it your setup at risk you know because you could drop that nut blah 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 uh, it, it just makes it easier okay so you loosen up this nut and you actually slide it in between uh, what the nut is basically squeezing two halves of this battery terminal connector. Okay. So you want to stick the, you want to slide the negative in between the two halves that this nut is compressing. And then you tighten it up. Not under the nut, but under what it's compressing. Right, in between. Got it. Uh, the two halves that the nut is compressing to tighten um, the connection on the battery terminal. All right, and then you just tighten this. Okay, and you don't want to over tighten it or like get gorilla, you know, gorilla strength tightening. All right, so before and, and then these little lights, the blue light is flashing. That tells you it's ready to connect Bluetooth. And then you hit the app again. I mean, you hit the device. And now it's connecting. Now it says 12.53, hooray! And then after you uh, change your pin code, hit these this little um settings cog up here in the top and it'll say do you want instant readout yes you do so you want to enable instant readout and then now do you want to name this so you know it's yours and then you can hit the three little bars again it'll say product profile and then you can um go right here it says custom name you hit edit and we can change this Get a jump. But so anyway, what, what number? What number yeah. is too low on there that you say, okay, this um, isn't gonna work? I would say a, like 11.8. Okay. So I mean, you definitely want it to be 
you definitely want it to be um oh it's 12.53 so it's coming up a little bit it, it's just from sitting you know from what we've done um you know you definitely want it like 12 3 and above i mean if if your if your engine battery is like below you know it just sits at 12 3 or is lower than 12 3 then you know it's probably not you know it's not holding a charge so you're going to have a problem um sooner probably rather than later of of getting you know caught with a dead battery you know a battery that won't start your engine great okay so um, now that you have that, the next thing is we want to mount this. So take like a, you know, uh, alcohol and, you know, clean an area. And you're going to put it right on top of the battery? Yep, you stick it right on. I, s I always stick it right up here on this little corner because it's not really covering any important information up just stick it right on the corner of the battery you can tuck the wires down a little bit none of this is you know it's all covered nothing's gonna get in the way and now we put it back together this tab goes up and you can see these little tabs inside here where it basically just snaps on like that and then we take our cover and just, you know, slide this back into place. And then you take your screws. You are the YouTube Uh Let's see. I'm going to get these started. Okay, now you'll see there's like a I don't know what that shape is keyhole or whatever I think they call it and so you push this up to where the smaller part goes into the screw body you put this part in first well there's three slide it up in there Get that pushed down good. Everything's in place. Get your little piece that you took off. So the something's giving it just enough resistance to that motor is being driven and it's, it shuts itself off. So there's something in the either the cap or the arm out your T25 pushing back enough that it's just not. Is that a typical Mercedes? Uh, it's a lot bit that you would want to have yeah I mean it's 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 pretty common so you definitely want to you know like the square bit is yeah. common so we still do. Uh, these Torx bit heads uh, a flat, um, Phillips and a flat now people are going to ask about a wonder is it wonder but is it, do you have any have you ever done a wonder the wonder is going to be different because the battery is actually under the driver's seat oh but the um wonder has what's called a customer connection point on this back corner mm -hmm. and it's three um you, you have to take off a plastic cover but it's it's three hot terminals and leisure that's where leisure actually hooks up the sterling dc dc charger wonder. so anyway so that those are always hot so you really can just uh unhook from one of those uh and hook the positive to the battery sense and then hook it to a seat um bolt like to you know for the um seat where it's bolted down um and put the negative on that because that, that gets you to the chassis ground and then it, then it would work and you could stick it you know under the the vinyl flap of your seat you're good to go
right, be sure to give Sandra a big shout out in the comments section down below. She is always eager to help. So appreciate everything that uh, she contributes to the Leisure Travel Van community. Now then, also, if you have yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, the old thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.